welcome to Down to Earth. Our question this week is another great one sent in by a couple of our viewers. They have leaves of Chinese pistache that have some black spots that are turning yellow and falling off. Richard and Vivian sent us some of those leaves, and black spots normally indicate a disease of some sort, so that probably is what's going on here. Most diseases need a wet environment for their spores to germinate and cause any damage. Our summer has been very hot and dry, but we did have a fairly wet spring. Chinese pistache trees do like more dry environments. They're very popular in my former home of El Paso, where they do very well in such a dry environment. In addition to humid air in our spring, with moisture around the leaves, our soil usually has a lot of clay, so that keeps the roots of this tree far too wet. That will also cause leaf drop. Sometimes black spots such as these may indicate insect damage from sucking insects, but you can tell those by spots that begin as a yellow spot, which grows and then forms a black or brown spot in the middle of the yellow. Unlike the spots on this leaf, the pattern of insect damage spots will be a little less sporadic, and they'll usually be about the same diameter all across the leaf. As with many leaf issues on trees, leaf drop from stress of any kind is pretty normal. It's a response to, to stress, and the tree will grow some new leaves in the fall, maybe this year or even next year. The damage is not long term, and next year's weather will probably be completely different, so the tree will most likely have no damage at all, giving it time to recover. Our plant this week is Kalanchoe species. There are many common names, one of which is Mother of Thousands. There are also a lot of different Kalanchoe species that are great for us, but the common floral species is more of a house plant. You might have gotten that delivered on Mother's Day or another holiday. Many species grow great outdoors, and they look great planted in containers with other succulents, such as low-growing sedums. They give some height around those low-growing plants. They are very low water use, and they like a lot of sun, but they also tolerate partial shade. They're listed to get up to three feet tall, but they're normally much smaller in our environment because of our cold winters. These develop plantlets along their leaf margins, which make them very interesting. And those plantlets fall off into your soil and create new plants for you to give away to your friends. They're very easy to, to dig up. They're fabulous in rock gardens or other specially designed dry areas with crushed granite, maybe. They're evergreen and surprisingly hardy. Most came through our winter last year just fine. They can also handle our slightly alkaline soil, which makes them a great choice for us. To do in your garden this month, it's a perfect time to plant fall mums and to fertilize those that remain in your garden. If you look around in nurseries right now, you see many fall plants are available, so that's a sure time that it's time to think about planting them. Many mums do flower in the spring, and some follow in the, flower in the fall. But these are great plants now in the fall to replace any spring or summer annuals that you have that have died out, or also perennials that are about to go to sleep, so you may want to fill those holes as well. We'd love to hear from you, so please visit klru.org ctg to send us your question or a plant of the week from your garden. Mm -hmm.